Hello Aries, welcome to your love reading. We're going to be doing a 411 love reading on your connection, all about what is going on in your connection, what you need to know, any hidden factors, how do you feel about each other, where is it all headed, all of that will be in this reading. Um, and uh, keep in mind Aries, this reading will not resonate with everyone as it's a general love reading. So take what resonates for you, what applies to your situation, leave the rest. You can also check out your other placements. I'll have all of the different playlists for each sign linked in the description box so you can see if there's any additional messages for you there so let's see for aries spirit what does aries need to know regarding love what does aries need to know what's going on for aries spirit in love for aries what does aries need to know what's going on for aries in love let's see Okay, what's going on in your connection right now? We have the Knight of Swords and the Five of Wands. And what do you need to know about this? Any inside challenges? Page of Pentacles reverse. Queen of Pentacles reverse. So right away, someone's not giving or is unable to give. Okay, how do you feel about this person? Ace of Wands reverse. The Magician. So I feel like you want something to happen here, but it's not. Um, maybe what you're manifesting is delayed or it just hasn't had the chance to start. Um, how do they feel about you? Seven of Wands, reverse. The moon, Pisces energy. So they're in the dark about something, it seems like, or could be keeping something to themselves. Seven of Wands, reverse is almost like someone's no longer fighting or maybe they don't have courage. We'll see what that's all about with the moon here. Okay, um, any hidden factors? What do you need to know? King of Pentacles reverse. Nine of Swords reverse. So we have the King and Queen reverse. Interesting. Okay, and where is all this headed? What's the outcome? The Devil reverse, Capricorn energy six of swords reverse so once again i get this feeling of stuck energy like i did with you here with the ace of wands reverse and the magician maybe someone's trying to leave a difficult situation a difficult attachment an unhealthy attachment um but they can't maybe they're prevented or delayed from leaving this could also be someone breaking free of an attachment in order to return as well we'll have to see what that means Okay, in the bottom of the deck, the why, why all of this is happening, Six of Pentacles. This is the root why everything is happening right now. Balance, give and take. I feel like there's something here with giving and taking because right away, I feel like someone is not able to give to this connection or not able to make an effort. Let's get some clarity. Can I get some clarity, please? Insight for Aries. What do I need to know for Aries? What's going on for Aries in love? What insight can you give us on these energies? Well, let's start with the Six of Pentacles, the why everything is happening. This is a card about balance, equal give and take. Could also be a card about someone that is giving more than the other. We'll see. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles spirit. Why do we have the Six of Pentacles here for Aries? Why do we have the Six of Pentacles here? The Fool. Why do we have the Six of Pentacles here? Tell me about the Six of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. This is about giving to, I feel, something new. Making an offer of some sort to have a new beginning. Taking a risk, perhaps. We have the Eight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So again, this stuck energy is just all over this reading. Okay, so we have here in what's happening in your connection at this time, the Knight of Swords and the Five of Wands. Um, communication, drama, fights conflict we'll see what this is all about 
maybe there was some sort of truth said that caused drama or some sort of truth that was expressed or got out that caused a bit of conflict here. Tell me about the Knight of Swords and this Five of Wands. What can you tell me about this energy? What can you tell me about this energy? Two of Swords. More stuck energy. What can you tell me about the Knight of Swords and the Five of Wands? Ace of Cups. It's interesting because it's almost like someone's undecided about how they feel. Like they're just not sure or feel stuck in their feelings, you know? Like their hands are tied or they're just guarded against their feelings. This could be somebody like protecting themselves, guarding their heart, despite the fact that they feel this love. And I'm trying to figure out why. Why is someone's being so guarded when it comes to these emotions? Why is the Two of Swords here? Why is the Two of Swords here? Why is the Two of Swords here? This could be you or your person, Aries, because this is what's going on in your connection at this time. So both of your energies are here. Five of Pentacles. So I feel like someone has had um, an experience that wasn't great or has been struggling, feels um, a sense of loss or difficulty. And this could be something that happened in the past. Maybe they were abandoned in the past, left out, shut out, um, struggled with another connection or this connection in the past. Maybe they are just guarded because they don't want to fall under this circumstance again or experience this again I also get the sense that this is someone that perhaps is like on the outside looking in almost like they shouldn't be feeling this way because clearly some sort of truth is causing problems so it's almost like maybe they have to neglect this like ignore these emotions these thoughts these feelings or perhaps they're just, I don't know, stuck in their emotions. This is very strange energy. We'll see if it comes up again. Because I know that there's the devil reversed here. So let's look at the, the insight on this. What's challenging or blocking this? What do we need to know about the situation? Page of Pentacles reverse, Queen of Pentacles reverse. Well, right away I'm thinking someone cannot give. Or is unable to give. Why? What can you tell me about the Page of Pentacles reverse? The Queen of Pentacles reverse. Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> Knight of Cups. Yeah, I feel like this is this is blocked. Basically, someone being able to either express themselves or be a partner to someone. Um, I feel like this is blocked. There's a, something that's being manifested, but it's not happening. And it's on your end here, or perhaps it's because of you that something isn't happening, Aries. Um, tell me more about, about the Page of Pentacles reverse and the Queen of Pentacles reverse. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles reverse and the Queen of Pentacles reverse. You could be dealing with an Earth sign here, Nine of Wands, yeah. More guarded energy with the Nine of Wands. Again, I feel like someone's like um, suppressing their emotions. Yeah, look at this. The High Priestess at the bottom of the deck. Thank you, Spirit. Because I'm like, what is going on? It's like someone is hiding their emotions, suppressing their emotions. I think it could be your person. Um, it's almost like they're resisting how they feel. And I'm wondering why. Is there a third party here? Why would this person resist how they feel towards you, Aries? This could also be you. You're re you could be resisting how you feel. Or perhaps the, the feelings are not being communicated between you. Let's look at your energies for each other. Can I get some insight, please, for Aries? What are the energies between Aries and this other person, Spirit? Tell me about the energy that Aries... 
is bringing to this connection? What can you tell me for Aries? Tell me about the energy that Aries is bringing to this connection. Balancing act, juggling and decision balance. You're juggling multiple things at once. Falling leaves, time changes everything. Okay, tell me about the person Aries is dealing with. What are their energies towards this connection? Budding romance. Romance is in the air. Wedding bells and hidden motives. <laughs> well, great. Yeah, this person could already be in a commitment or is hiding a commi commitment or is hiding how they feel about you because they're in a commitment, something like that. Now this is interesting with falling leaves and balancing. So falling leaves is a card about changes, transition, time, right? Time changes everything. Over time, there are changes. I feel like you have been, you know, time has passed in this connection. It doesn't have to be a, lot, a long time, but it could be. Um, and I feel like over those, over that time, you've gone back and forth about this connection or how you feel about this connection or a decision that you need to make regarding this connection. But regardless, I feel like now at this time, you're manifesting something that's not happening. Tell me about the Ace of Wands reverse and the Magician. Why is the Ace of Wands reverse here with the Magician spirit? What do we need to know? Temperance. Yeah. I feel like this has taken a long time, Aries. Sagittarius energy. You're trying to make something happen. Tell me about the Magician and the Ace of Wands reverse. Maybe you're manifesting balance, a recovery, harmony, a resolution here. Ten of Wands. Yeah, and I feel like this has been something that you've been doing or manifesting or working on for a long time with the Ten of Wands. Um, maybe this has become a bit of a burden for you or... Uh, maybe you're doing a lot on your own here. Bottom of the deck, we have the devil, Capricorn energy and the eight of pentacles. Yeah, and then the seven of pentacles. So I feel like there's almost like um like an obsession or a like a how do I say this? Like a like a real desire, a persistent desire to put energy into this. For whatever reason it could be that you are thinking about this person or this connection a lot maybe you're manifesting actively manifesting something on this connection but with the seven of pentacles i feel like you've been waiting patiently for something to happen and it hasn't yet <clears throat> so let's look at your person what can you tell me about the seven of wands reverse with the moon Why is the Seven of Wands reverse here with the Moon? Four of Cups. Why is the Seven of Wands reverse with the Moon? Interesting. Two of Cups. <laughs> I'm gonna get one more. Nine of, okay, Nine of Pentacles, all right. So what I'm getting here, wow, tower at the bottom of the deck. What I'm getting here is your person has no idea how this. Okay, the, the, the message that I'm getting, Aries, obviously this will not resonate for everyone. Okay, keep that in mind. Not every reading here on my channel every week will resonate with you. Um... I feel like this is a situation where you are both thinking about each other, but neither of you are in contact. This person, I, I feel, has no idea how you feel um, or has kept their feelings for you secret. So you have no idea that they're feeling this way. I feel like this is someone that admires you um, and possibly feels a deep connection to you. Uh, but with the seven of wands here reverse and the tower, I feel like something happened between you and this person 
and this person kind of like gave up like they gave in to their doubt and their suppression you know whatever secrets or things are keeping to themselves i feel like this person thinks this is kind of like a lost cause especially because the four of cups is here so it's almost like they're they're really not open to this opportunity because despite the fact that they really are admiring you here and it could very well be too that in their mind to be with you they would have to give up a lot you know they would have to be free independent and cause a tower perhaps and they don't know how it's gonna go because I don't think you're in contact with this person so you know I'm getting like a lot of energies here but I can tell you that this is someone who you know they would have to start over with you but in romance here the fool they would have to fight for this again and they there's just too many unknowns for this person now and over here in the hidden factors and what you need to know I have the king of pentacles reversed so once again this energy of someone that's not able to give is not able to commit is possibly unhappy in a commitment as well and the nine of swords reversed so someone would have to overcome their fear here to perhaps give let's see tell me about the king of pentacles reverse and the nine of swords what can you tell me about the king of pentacles reverse and the nine of swords reverse nine of cups what can you tell me about the king of pentacles reverse and the nine of swords reverse what can you tell me spirit what can you tell me page of cups <laughs> Yeah, this would have to be somebody that either apologizes or expresses their feelings um, if they really want to get their wish granted. I feel like someone would be very happy to hear from this person or to hear from the other person. Can I get some more insight into the King of Pentacles reverse and the Knight of Swords reverse? Can I get some insight, please? Two of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like this is someone that... Um, isn't sure and i think this might be your energy because you had balancing act aries so but this could also be you know i feel you know what i feel i feel like both of you look at the other through you know like energetically right like not in person i don't i mean you could be but what i'm picturing is like two people you know i don't know if any of you watch um korean dramas or anything like that but they uh i love them um so you know how they have a scene where two people are laying in bed and looking at you know this invisible line right and they're both thinking about the other and they're both kind of like you know looking at each other but it's a it's a trick of the tv and so you know they're not together it's like there's a divide between them anyways let me not get into a tangent what i'm trying to say is i feel like you're both mirroring each other and both are in the same boat you don't know if you should reach out and share your, how you feel open the line of communication reveal something i think you both go back and forth about that a lot despite the fact and i think it's because despite the fact that you're both into this like you both want this but i don't think either of you know it i hope i'm making sense okay so let's clarify the outcome here the devil reverse with the six of swords reverse What's this energy here, Spirit? The Devil Reverse and the Six of Swords Reverse. What can you tell us? Wow, okay, Three of Swords, yikes. What can you tell us? Anything else, please? The Devil Reverse and the Six of Swords Reverse. What can you tell me about this energy? Ugh, okay. Again, I feel like this is someone that could very well be trapped in a situation where they're not happy but at the same time there's this guarded energy right they're not open y'all okay so we have the knight of wands i was about to say you know it's like they would need to be a knight of wands but to be a knight of wands they have to let something go 
I feel like if someone were to leave a situation or if this connection would happen, like let's say that there's a possibility that you and this person get together, right? For you to be together, I feel like there's going to be some very difficult times for another person or your person. Tell me about this Knight of Wands. What's this Knight of Wands about? Why is the Knight of Wands here? Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, the higher font. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, someone here is in a commitment. And there's the Four of Swords. Um, someone is in a commitment or is committed to something else that's taking up their time. I feel like they would need to leave this connection. They would need to leave this commitment. And I don't see them doing that right now. I mean, I, I'm going to tell you exactly how I see it. Four of Swords, Four of Pentacles, Four of Cups is here, Two of Swords. You know, this, this, this is very clear energy. And it could very well be that someone hates the fact that they're not acting on this, right? It could very well be that this person is scared to hurt another person. Um, and so it prevents them from going after what they truly want here. Yeah, three of cups after that. I mean, if it could be any clearer, there's someone else here. And that person is a big block. And I feel like you're manifesting this Aries, but this is not just something that you can do on your own. You cannot carry this on your own. This other person has to meet you halfway. And I feel like it's going to be much more difficult for them for whatever reason. Um, so that's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading, Aries. I hope it resonated with most of you. Um, if you enjoyed the reading, hit that like button, subscribe so you can see more readings from me. Feel free to leave me a comment if you want to share how the story resonated or if you just want to say hello. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, thank you so much for all of your support, your kind comments, um, and your likes and subscribes. I really appreciate it. I'm pulling a ton of oracles there to get their energies, thoughts, feelings, intentions, and next actions towards you. Uh, the extended will be linked in the description box and pinned in the comments. And yeah, so I'll hopefully see some of you there and I'll see the rest of you back here with another video very soon. Take care.